Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl AZ Williams. How are you all doing? Hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are fine. If you're new to this channel, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Okay guys, we are back to this whole Fina and her abortion talk again. Yes guys, so last night Fina held an Ask me, um, what's that stuff they always ask on IG where you ask people to ask you questions and you answer? Yes, guys. So she answered a series of questions, which are, you know, the answers were a bit controversial. And the most controversial of them all is this one where somebody asked her and said, Did you think before saying there is no woman who has done abortion before? And she responded and said, Only virgins are safe hypocrites. Or only virgins are safe hypocrites. As long as you are having sex as a woman, if you drink postino, that's abortion. If you drank bircham, ampicloth, and warm water, that's abortion. Then she put um, a bucket emoji. Keep crying for all I care. Now, as you all know, this gained a lot of attention, both on Instagram and on um twitter now today while blogs we are posting it all over the place one person that had something to say to fina is princess yes guys princess from the all-star season she responded to fina and said in a blog it's not by force to agree with you carry your cross in peace now fina also seeing that responded with this and said since i was in the house that woman has been on my case waiting happened now my head them they pass go your billionaire boyfriend house mind your business mommy leave me alone mama she also said, princess with your imbecile voice, way be like person, way them trained from deaf and dumb. Um, you don't define my trouble scenes. Please just chill because then your mind go day. Wow. So that's a lot going on right now on social media. Now, I know you guys want to know my stance on all of this. And I'll tell you, first of all, I like to put it out there again because I feel like this is um, an education moment. Yes abortion is not somebody taking morning after pills really it's not there is prevention and there is termination one is terminating a fetus that is still developing the other is preventing the whole pregnancy from happening so the whole thing that she's saying that this and these are the same that's wrong please i beg you people should stop having this notion. Education is key. Google stuff before coming out to say it. Fina is all shades of wrong for this. And Princess coming out, you know, with what she put out said, it's not by force to agree with you. Carry your cross in peace. Um, it kind of like I understand where Princess is coming from, obviously. Um, saying that from my own perspective, I feel like Princess is trying to say, okay, do not generalize. You said you've done it, you've done it. So don't try to generalize it. It's not about every other woman, right? But maybe the way she put it, you know, came off as being aggressive towards Fina. And also, let's also have in mind that Princess has been coming for Fina for a very long time. Like since last year, even when Fina was still in the house. Like for a different reason, not just about this particular topic. So of course, Fina decided, okay, I'm going to clap back at this. Even though if you would ask me if I was her PR person, I'll probably tell her not to. In fact, that question and answer thing that she did was so not called for at all. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like most of these things are being done, you know, um, purposefully just to generate a lot of attention i don't know about you guys because that's how i'm seeing it right now because you can't tell me you face backlash for a thing you've repeated like how many times people have come out to defend you and you keep saying the same thing again this time around not with any media outlets not in big brother's house you know via your own social media handle is giving you know what you're doing because probably you know um we've seen artists that do that you know they generate some sort of controversy you know on when they're about to go on tour when they're about to release an album so people will you know people's interest in them will peak so i think this is what it is that's why honestly i don't pay i don't pay any mind anymore i see the comments i see all this and i'm like okay 
it will pass. Let's see what you are going to release tomorrow because that's how, honestly, that's how I'm seeing this whole um, scenario right now. Yes, guys. Now, away from that, in also her Q&A, um, Fina also said something that got a lot of us questioning her relationship, you know, with E. Lebaye, the All Stars winner. Somebody asked her a question and said, Are you cool with Baye? And she said, I thought I was. Am I surprised? No. Some of the level of people, if you've noticed, you know, um, ever since Baye won, they've just, you know, withdrawn from her. I mean, these are people that, um, you know, when she was in the house, rooted for her, you know, went all out for her, defended her, you know, and all of that. But all of a sudden, ever since she came out of the house, they just decided or it just looked like they everybody just went back to their own square roots. It's not like I'm saying, oh, they should farm her, but it seems like something is going on that we do not know. I remember, I think it was last month, yeah, last month, yes, um, Fina put out a tweet about, you know, um, being doing stuff for people and people betraying you or something of that sort, and Chrissy O was like, she should not talk about it, she should just let it go, and a lot of us did suspect that it has something to do with Ilebaye, yes, guys, so I do not know until the real gist is put out there, let's keep you know um with her answer she thought she and Ile Baye were cool now talking about Ile Baye she also had her own fair share of controversial statements last night Ile Baye put this out I think it was from a fan and she posted it on her snap the person said um can I tell you a secret don't share this one by replying publicly okay don't know if you've noticed your impact on other BBN housemates you've got this millennial scrambling to keep up Chai, chai, we the millennials have suffered. Anyways, um, this person went on to say the way their dress is changing, trying to look younger. Some have started saying purr. Hope they are not trying to steal it. And even the way they style their hair, they are doing whatever you've done. When you trend for something, next day we see their snaps and IGs trying to top it. It's funny to see because they don't know what you will do next, but I love how you keep surprising all of us. Okay, I have to say this with my full chest. Some fans, you all need to rest. You can actually praise your faith without being dumb. And I'm saying it without having any water in my mouth. For Ilebaye to even think of even posting this out here on her snap, I don't even know which one is crazier. I don't know which one is crazier because what's this? What's this that they are trying to look younger? Which of the housemates have been trying to look old before? Which one? What are they copying from her? From Is it the pair that they are saying that she even made some of them to say? So what exactly are they trying to top her on? Everybody oh, from this All Stars is, from what I'm seeing, are actually trying to live their life. You know, this person said, okay, don't put it out here. But for she putting it out, out there, it means this is actually what she's thinking. And this is a very bad look. Oh. It's a very bad look. Because if she's thinking like, oh, these people are trying to copy me, what exactly are they trying to copy here? And well, Euro came out, you know, in support of Ilebaye and said, just so thought I... Okay, wait, that didn't come out, right? But that's what she wrote. Just so... um. Okay, thought I would say as a millennial, there is nothing wrong with getting inspiration from a beautiful fashionista Gen Z. I bought these boots because I saw them on Sister Baye. Let's spread love, not hate. Fashion is made for all to enjoy. Fans should encourage love. The economy is hard already. Shout out to all the Gen Zs. I have no shame being inspired by them. Honestly, Urel, I get your point. Nobody is saying you cannot be inspired, you know, by anybody. You can be inspired by the Gen X, Bloomers, Millennials, Gen Zs. You can be inspired by anybody. But the fact that she is saying that these people are trying to be her, it's what's absurd. You can be inspired by the boots and get it. We get that. But, I mean, you guys should be honest now. That's in way Ile Baye fan, right? Where Ile Baye put out there. It makes sense, Funa I. It makes sense. Honestly, does it make any sense? Haba. See, yeah. I'm all for everybody doing their thing. I'm all for, you know, um, hyping your fave. But don't hype your fave with stupidity. I think that's the thing. Don't hype your fave. Because 
the way I'm looking at it now, all the All Stars housemates, everybody they hustle. All of them are hustling for a place because the entertainment scene, the Big Brother Night just scene is quite saturated. And you know, they're not like new faces that people are like, oh, these are fresh face. They've been there before, you know, and people are really trying, you know, the economy is tough, you know, like Uriel pointed out. And everybody's just trying to make it. This is what I think about all the other things from Fina to Ile Baye to Uriel to Princess. This, you know, is my opinion about everything that happened today what are your thoughts let me know in the comment section on that note i'd like to say a very big thank you to you all for being part of my channel if you have not yet subscribed kindly click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video until i come your way again i remain your darling girl is the new Williams.